A brand new life simulation game was just revealed at Gamescom opening night live. Set to arrive in 2025 across all major platforms, get ready to start a new life in the clouds in this adorable upcoming title. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today we have a brand new episode of Thinking Out Loud the show where I explore a variety of interesting and exciting gaming topics and share my honest thoughts with you all. Today's hot topic is Floatopia, a newly revealed life simulation title being developed by NetEase that looks very high quality and fun for fans of the genre. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. If you're ready to start a new life in this exciting upcoming title, you'll do so in the sky because Floatopia is set in a world of floating islands. This whimsical world is filled with toys, travel, and superpowers, where you can enjoy a relaxing, carefree vacation as you fill your days with fantasy and laughter. You will also get to discover all of the beloved elements of simulation games like farming, fishing, logging, and decorating your dream home. So if this sounds great to you, get ready to set sail on your very own floating island and journey through a world of superpowers. But not just any superpowers, because in the world of Flotopia, the most sought after your powers are quickly reserved, leaving only the seemingly useless ones behind. In this title, you'll play as a character who, in a twist of fate, joins forces with those possessing overlooked superpowers, embarking on a whimsical and joyous adventure together. As the main storyline unfolds, you gradually uncover the truth of the world and the meaning of your travels, realizing that even abilities that don't seem very useful from a surface level perspective actually have unique worth and contain hidden potential. We've seen glimpses of some of these superpowers in the trailer and have also been introduced to a few that some of the NPCs possess, like the ability to perfectly fit any item into a perfectly sized bag and the ability to eat without feeling full. So as I previously mentioned, in Flotopia, you can actually set sail on your own floating island to a variety of different realms inspired by diverse cultures, blending fantasy with reality. This includes mountaintop cities, ancient towns, deserts, frozen expanses, whimsical fairy tale kingdoms, and even culinary paradises. What's more is that the team plans to regularly update the game with new content, so your adventures will always be fresh and ever expanding. Basically, as long as you desire to continue exploring, your journey will never end. Not only will you have all sorts of places to explore, but also many activities to enjoy. However, at times with unique twists. For example, you won't just fish, but you'll fish in the cloud sea. You'll have interesting ways to harvest your crops with ease, you can change the weather to match your mood, and even discover different flora and fauna with their own interesting superpowers. While there will be tons of activities to enjoy, you can do as much or as little as you would like, because this game is all about getting cozy and relaxing. For those of you who love decorating, you'll likely be very pleased with what Flotopia has to offer because you'll be offered great freedom to shape and style the island exactly as you want. There will be an array of customizable tools and an ever-expanding collection of creative components that you can use to transform your island's terrain, set the perfect theme, and personalize personalize everything, from the shape of the island itself to the fun addition of colorful graffiti. We were able to get a first look at some of the terraforming features in the trailer, which will include creating cliffs, waterscaping, lane paths, and more. We also got to take a look at so much of the adorable furniture, both inside and out, and honestly, this just looks like a dream for design. But it's not just about the island. Your wardrobe will also offer a diverse range of charming and stylish options so you can express yourself and your own personal style. But you don't have to embark on this exciting journey on your own. There will also be multiplayer features for the game where the team has a goal to create a social world where close-knit circles and meaningful connections will thrive. However, no matter your social preferences, there's always a personalized way for you to engage engage and interact. For example, extroverts can hop on travel vehicles to explore fantastical realms and quirky islands with endless opportunities to meet new friends, discover stunning landscapes, roam the skies hand in hand, embark on shared adventures, and naturally form lasting bonds. Meanwhile, introverts can enjoy cozy visits with close friends, host intimate parties, 
create whimsical playgrounds, and spend quality time in spaces perfectly suited to them. And if you just prefer solitude, charming creatures and friendly residents are always there to keep you company throughout your day. I really appreciate how so many comfort levels and social preferences are being taken into consideration by the team. If it ends up being executed in the way that it's described, it really does seem like it will suit all preferred playstyles when it comes to multiplayer. So when can we actually expect to play Flotopia? Well, plans have been shared for a 2025 release. The game will be coming to PC, Xbox, PlayStation 5, and yes, also the Nintendo Switch. You can actually pre-register now on the game's official website if you're interested. There's even an island gift pack community campaign being hosted where different exclusive rewards will unlock in-game for all players if we reach different pre-registration milestones, like unique cosmetics as one example. I have to say this title appears to be incredibly promising, in many ways like a dream come true. It looks like it'll include most, if not all, of our favorite mechanics from similar games in the genre Genre, but also will be putting unique spins on them and packaging everything together with gorgeous, high-quality graphics. So, now that you've been introduced to Flotopia and I've shared my initial thoughts on this adorable upcoming title, what did you think? In a recent poll, I asked which feature is a must-have for you in life simulation games. And since YouTube polls are limited to just four options, I presented the features that we know are confirmed to be in Flotopia. Character customization and fashion won the poll by a landslide, claiming 52% of the vote. And I have to be quite honest, I think for me, this is probably the most important feature for me when it comes to a life sim game, because if I can't create my own character and customize aspects of who I am in that game, I'm definitely not going to be quite as invested. The runner-up was farming and foraging with 25% of the vote. While I personally love foraging, I actually prefer a lot of other mechanics over farming. Don't get me wrong, I do really enjoy farming, but oftentimes I actually prefer to go treasure hunting, bug catching, fishing, mining, all those other activities a little bit more than farming. But I do also love having some element of farming in a game, even if it's on a smaller scale, like having a simple garden, especially because growing produce can also be interconnected with cooking, gifting, completing quests. So sometimes it's about way more than just the farming itself. Next, with 18% of the vote is decorating and terraforming, which would be my personal second pick because I really love cute furniture. I love cute pieces of decor. And I didn't know how much I enjoyed terraforming until Animal Crossing New Horizons. It was so fun to be able to shape my island in different ways. And it looks like the mechanics in Flotopia are going to be very flexible with how you terraform. And again, the decorating looks really good. The cute little items we've seen around the world look very vibrant and exciting and interesting to decorate with. To be honest, I'm actually surprised that this wasn't as popular as farming and foraging. And then with only a very small percent of the vote, fishing and bug catching came in last with 5% of you picking this. Now we don't know whether or not there will be bug catching in this game. We know there will be fishing. Now I personally really like fishing if it's done right. So it super depends on how the mini game is implemented. And I'm pretty sure like 95% of the time I love bug catching. I also love the systems of completing collections specifically that often accompany fishing and bug catching, which I saw some of you point out in the comments. Of course, there are so many features I would love to see in this game, but again, it totally for me comes back to being able to create a character that I feel represents me. So be sure to let me know down in the comments which of the features from the poll you are most excited about being in Flotopia, and of course, any features that are not yet confirmed that you would like to see. Well, there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to Flotopia and are just as excited as I am to learn more about this upcoming life simulation game. Be sure to shine the lovely like button if you would enjoy seeing more Flotopia content, and as always, make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on to stay in the loop. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care.